Dream Chaser number one with another episode of Walk and Talk. On this episode, we have Kevin W. Reese from Eat the Sunlight. We'll be right back after this intro. So a big thing part of this meeting was we're looking to collaborate. We're looking to bring organizations together. You know, clearly I'm an entrepreneur. If you're watching this, you're probably an entrepreneur. All right, so Kevin, we're out here on this beautiful day at the Connecticut River. Look at this view. Look this at is a this beautiful view. view of Harvard. Look at that. We got the science center in the background. This is the best part of East Hartford right here. Is this it? Absolutely. Well, this is this is a wonderful spot. But um, you know, we wanted to talk about we wanted to talk about eat the sunlight. Sure. But I think we should start off because you know a lot of people might remember when you you, you were on Hot 93.7. Yeah. And so you know, like like I think that the story should start there. You were working at Hot 93.7. Yeah. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that and and how everything kind of transformed from there? Sure. Well, I was on air for 12 years there. Okay. You know, on air idiot show. We you know made a decent name for ourselves. Right. Myself, DJ Big Man, Craig G, Carl, the idiot intern. Yeah. We had a good time, man. Right. You know. Um, but, you know, sometimes you outgrow things. Uh, yes, of course. And, you know, I, I became a, a sick individual around 28 years old. Mm -hmm. And I had to get my health in order. And um, as I was going through those changes, I also changed mentally. Right. And I wasn't really feeling going and being the silly guy on the radio anymore. Right. I just lost my passion for it. Okay. Just flat out. And... Uh, you know, it was time to change. So I put a little exit strategy in place. I didn't just right. quit. Right. Uh, I, I strategized it. Yep. And I started using my government name on air. I mean, I was K Dub or K Dub is just running this for right. 10 years. Right. And then I started Kevin, Kevin W. Reese. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> you know, that was a plan. Yes. That was a strategy. And, and then I went to school for natural health and I started helping people. Uh, overcome their chronic illnesses. I went a totally different direction. Right. Now this is while you're still at the radio. While I was okay. still on the radio. Now this is important because a lot of times when people want to do something different, yeah, they they, they get scared. Right. Right. I'm right. all about dream chasing. That's what right, I kind of right, do. Right? right. Right. But the thing is, is that they don't realize that sometimes you gotta work your nine to five. Yep. And then still have a five to one, two, three a.m. Yeah. in the morning. Absolutely. So talk about that. How was that? Because a lot of time I talk to people and they say, "Oh, I just don't have enough time to yeah. do what I want to do." Uh, 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 there's always enough time. That's right. You make the time if you're a hustler, you know. Right. right. And uh, yeah, I just I, I was doing it on the side of radio. Right. And when the time was right, I made the switch, mm -hmm. and I already had eat the sunlight in the in place. Right. You know, and all the people who followed me on radio were intrigued. I mean, not all, but a good amount. They were intrigued and they came over and the ones that were sick ended up becoming my first clients. Awesome. So you were able to take your audience from radio, the people that really like what you were doing, the yeah. people that were also sick. I was, an right? in, I was an influencer. Right, you were an influencer. Right. And you were able to change, so while you were changing your life, you were able to change their lives. Yeah, yeah, and I would start getting phone calls while I was on the air. People would be like, oh, I started, I changed this in my diet, and I did that, and you know, now I lost 50 pounds, and it was like, all right, now let's make this a career. Right, right. So I went to school, I went to three schools, and I just, Man, I just I just totally changed it and started off with a few clients and it turned into group coaching and then it turned into this mission-based company that it is now. So so tell us a little bit about Eat the Sunlight. What what exactly do you do and and why do you feel like it's so important? Eat the Sunlight is a mission-based company and we help people overcome their chronic health issues. Okay. So chronic health uh, issues, we're talking about migraines, we're talking about fibromyalgia, we're mm. talking about gout, we're right. talking mm. about uh, arthritis, we're talking about, um, you know, colitis, irritable bowel, so the list goes on. All of us, yeah. And these chronic illnesses, which are very much, you know, brought on by poor lifestyle decisions, mm -hmm. specifically diet, right. and uh, I've learned over five years how to reverse these. Mm -hmm. So now, you know, I've developed a program called the ETS 120, and we're having incredible success. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and and that's it. If somebody has chronic health issues, Eat the Sunlight is where you want to be. Right. Yeah. And so how do they get in contact? Uh, EatTheSunlight.com would be a great place, you know, on Facebook, Instagram, anything like that. Yeah. 
So, so tell us. Let's go a little bit deeper. So, sure. when you were doing the radio, yeah. where's what, what? What was your lifestyle like? You know, as a, like, so you were doing the radio, and that, that's a certain lifestyle. But what was your lifestyle like as it pertains to like your physical health and all the, all those things? And and what was the spark that kind of made you say, you know what, I'm going to change it all up? Well, you know, my whole twenties was based on. Uh, fast food, mm -hmm. you know, being in the clubs, making that extra dollar, you know, going to bed late, you know, having, you know, corned beef hash and scrambled eggs at three in the morning, <laughs> right, you know, right. stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I got sick. I, I had a heart attack scare at only 28 years old. Right. You know, my dad had open heart at 47. His dad died on the table at 55. Mm. And, uh, you know, it's funny, I was just talking to my boy, and uh, uh, I'm giving him a plug here, Jason Ricketts from Hot 937. Okay, yep, yep. You know, he had a big, big scare, right. you know, recently. And we were just talking, actually, this morning. I was telling him, I was like, yo, I would have been you. Right. I would have been you. Like, I, there's no doubt that I would have dropped in my late 30s, which mm. I'm late 30s now. Right. And because of my genetics combined with the yeah. way I was eating. Yeah. And... You know, that's the one-two punch. Right. So I completely changed. I just went to my 20-year high school reunion. Awesome. And it was completely different than my 10-year reunion. Right. Because my 10-year reunion, my 10-year reunion, I was sick. Right. You know, constant pain, back and forth with the doctor, emergency room visits. Mm -hmm. You know, and now it's just, I haven't even been sick in six years. I mean, not even a cold. Right. So it just... Very different. <laughs> so let's say someone wanted to make a uh, change right now for themselves, mm. right? They, they're sitting there, they're watching this video, mm. and you're saying like, they're, they're saying, I want to do something. What would you suggest for that person? Like, what are like maybe like three to five steps you would give them right now that they could start taking today that would change their life and help them be able to become a better person for themselves? Got to embrace the fruit. Okay. Fruit is God's food. It, 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 it's been hanging off the trees from day one. Right. I think we pay too much attention to vegetables. Okay. We got to pay more attention to the fruit. I like that. Uh, get on the fruit. Eat as much as you can, or, or make make it your breakfast. Okay. You know, make do a mono meal. In other words, don't mix fruit with don't don't mix, mix apples with oranges. Right. Or watermelon with papaya right you eat one just eat one right because it, it it helps with digestion so if you okay. want apples eat three apples as a meal right so i would say huh. eating a mono fruit meal every day for breakfast mm -hmm. is very much changing also when you wake up in the morning drink 16 ounces of water right out chug door. it okay don't sip it yeah chug it okay. okay just those two changes right there will make significant improvement in, in someone's life. Okay. Yeah. That's wonderful. That's easy too. That doesn't seem too hard. It's very easy, man. And so... And, and don't eat a lot. Okay. <laughs> we, we eat way too much. Right. We do. We, 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 we have this Thanksgiving syndrome in America, right? All the time, right? And we're just like, ah. Uh -huh. No, you never want to get to ah. Uh. Right. You always should just eat enough, like... If we're using calories as a gauge, mm -hmm. you know, guys should be eating around 2,000, girls around, you know, 1,400, you know? Like, I mean, I'm not saying calories are the end all be all, but it gives a little measurement. Right. And if you're eating too much, your body doesn't know how to handle that, man. It doesn't know how to digest that. That's why I love juice, yeah. and tea so much, because it puts, you know, your, your, your digestive system doesn't have to do much. So, so how do you change that mindset, though? Because it's kind of like, you know, we live in a consumer-driven uh, world. We, you know, get more, eat more, get all, you know, that's how it is. And so, like, how do you get yourself in a mindset where you're able to uh, kind of say to yourself, you know, I'm going to eat less, I'm going to eat more fruit, I'm going to do things like that. And, you know, it's, how do you help somebody change the way they think? Well, we're definitely socially engineered. Right. Right? We're seeing the, the commercials at a young age. Right. When we think of football, we think of beer and chicken wings. Right. Automatically. Right. Movies, popcorn. Right. It's automatic, right. ingrained in us. So how do you change? You have to know that you are socially engineered. Right. Okay. Once you know that you are socially engineered, now you can be like, ah, joke's on me. Yes. Santa Claus isn't real. Right. I'm going to take a step back, and I'm not going to go with the flow they told me to go with. Because that's really the thing, not to get too controversial, but they want you to get sick because then that feeds in the big farmer. Right. And 
it's just this huge site. Of course. Yeah. It's nicknamed the Medical Mafia. Right, right, right. So, if you had an opportunity to talk to somebody right now who's watching this video and maybe they, they, they need that motivational message that's going to push them over the hump to take that first step to start eating, you know, having a mono meal for breakfast, chugging their, chugging their water in the morning, what would you say directly to the camera to that person that's going to help them make the right choice for themselves? You can, you can find freedom. You know, I, you can, if you're a fighter, you can find freedom, you can do it in 120 days or less, we have a program in ETS 120. I mean, 120 days, you can be free of all these chronic health issues. I mean, you know, can I tell you a quick story? Go ahead, of course. I mean, Griselle, one of our students, she, her migraines and joint pain was so bad. She has seven children, five grandchildren. She had to isolate herself into the room, in a room with the lights off. She couldn't go to her kid's birthday party. She couldn't do none of that. She was, she was enslaved to her illnesses, to her pain. It's all gone. In 120 days, it's all gone. Now she's bouncing around Hartford telling everybody about it. We have countless stories of these people who are overcoming their migraines, and fibromyalgia, and things you wouldn't even think that are even possible. Right. We're doing things that people don't even know are possible. So my thing is, you can overcome your chronic health issues in 120 days, proven it, and you just have to want to do it. Just that simple. It's like, if you want to be the next Kobe Bryant, right. if you want to be the next LeBron James, Michael Jordan, you have to commit yourself right. to how to dribble, to how to shoot, right. to how to play defense, yeah. and, and, and then you have to be consistent and then go with it. All right, so the person's ready to go with it. Give them your email, your website, all that good stuff so they can get in contact with you uh, straight to the camera sure. and let them know how to get in contact with you. Well, if you want to find me on Facebook, just look up Kevin W. Reese. Of course, go to eatthesunlight.com. We have a free webinar on there. If you want some free information, you can take it for absolutely free. Uh, eatthesunlight.com slash pages slash 120. It's all right there. I'm also offering a free seven-day de-stress course because stress plays a factor too sure, and yeah, yeah. stress plays a factor in the illnesses so uh, they can log on to eatsunlight.com and take that class for absolutely free so I'm trying to give as much value as possible but to sum it up eatsunlight.com is where you want to be so this is Kevin W. Reese mm -hmm. I'm Dream Chase number one Abdul Rahman Abin Muhammad mm -hmm. and this has been another episode of Walk and Talk Eat the Sunlight people and we're out <laughs>